Hello everyone. Lockdowns, wearing of face masks, hand washing, no travel, social distancing. These are all the methods our governments are employing in order to deal with the present world health situation, the present world pandemic. But it seems to me that what they're actually doing with all these methods is they are simply treating the symptoms and not the cause of the real problem. And why do I say that? And how do I say that? In order to explain what I mean, I need to go back to basics here. Basics being that no form of life exists on its own. Every form of life, and that includes us, has a vast support mechanism, a vast support system to upholster it and keep us all in existence. All forms of life, no matter how big or how small, plant, animal, mineral, they are all interlinked, all interdependent, all intersupporting, all in the great web of creation, like a huge tapestry. And each one of us has a thread in that tapestry. And if even one thread is damaged or cut, the whole pattern is thrown out of sync. And you've often heard it said about how when a butterfly flaps its wings in South America, that affects us here. And yes, it is true. Jared Manley Hopkins, late 19th century poet, wrote about the inscape and the outscape of every living thing. For example, the leaf on the tree, it has an inscape beauty all of its own, as we all have. Each individual unit of life has an inscape beauty, an inherent beauty and format. But it's not on its own. There is an outscape there, and the outscape is all the interconnection with every other form of life that keeps it in support. For example, the leaf on the tree belongs to the branch. The leaf cannot exist without the branch. The branch cannot exist without the trunk. The trunk cannot exist without the soil it comes from. So the inscape and the outscape, everything has an intrinsic beauty and an outer connection to everything else. And yes, human, animal, vegetable and mineral, everything is linked. All planetary health is all interconnected and interdependent. So what is our support mechanism? What are our support systems that I'm talking about here? To what am I referring? I'm talking here about the vast biodiversity systems, the vast ecosystems that cover our entire universe and our planet Earth here. Even the dolphins and the whales, everything has got a vital role to play in that ecosystem. The dolphins and whales with their sonar sounds that they emit, they keep our world in balance. Every living creature has got a part to play in that biodiversity system. Every living creature has a vital role to play. The earth itself is a huge massive living organism. Our bodies are a microcosm of that macrocosm which is planet Earth. Our bodies have lungs which help us breathe. The Earth has the trees. The trees are the lungs of the Earth. Our bodies have an immune system that keeps us healthy and free from diseases. The Earth has an immune system that keeps us free from devastating plagues and diseases. And that immune system, that is the ecosystem that covers our whole world. And what are we doing? We are destroying 
the Earth's immune system. The very system that has been put in place by divine intelligence to protect us from diseases and plagues, etc. We're destroying all that. And then we wonder where the pandemic is coming from. We can't figure this out. We have devastated our ecosystems through greed and consumerism. A healthy ecosystem means a healthy soil system, which means healthy plants, which means healthy food, which means healthy humans. Ecology must always come before economy, but we unfortunately have got it the other way around. We have to change the rate of our human consumption. We need to change our attitude and our relationship to all other forms of life. Wild animals, each one plays a vital role in that ecosystem. And we only have to listen to the sounds of the planets as given to us by NASA. Google NASA and Google the signs of the planets, the signs the planets make in their cyclic movement in the rotation. And each one of them, leave Earth the last, each one of them makes a lovely harmonious sound and they all fit together. And then listen to the Earth sound. And Earth is, ugh, Earth is completely and totally out of sync. It's out of harmony. We have destroyed the balance, the harmony of our world. We are facing a biodiversity crisis, an eco crisis, and all the great disturbances, all the great perturbations we are witnessing in nature, which we call natural disasters, they are all that destruction we're doing, that's all that destruction manifesting. Nature's crying out to us to pay attention, to stop destroying the very system that support us. The elemental kingdoms and mother nature can't cope anymore. They're under severe pressure. Now, this is all very much doom and gloom. And yes, it is a doom and gloom scene. We can't deny it, but there's always hope. And there are three things we have working in our favour. Three very strong things. Number one, we as humans, we can change. And we can change quickly. We've shown that over the last year. Governments show it every day. They change their minds every day. They do U-turns every day. The governments can change. We can change. We can change our attitudes as we have done over the last year. We can get used to new ways of life, to new habits. This time last year, for example, if you wore a mask into a bank, you'd be arrested and taken away in handcuffs. And now you can't get in without one. You see how quickly we can change. Our whole lives have changed over the last year. The second thing in our favor is Mother Nature and these ecosystems I'm talking about. They're all self replenishing. They're all self sustaining and they're all self healing. That's in our favor. They don't need us to heal them or to replenish them. They just need us to stop destroying them. And the third thing in our favor, all these lockdowns, they're actually good for Mother Nature because they are buying time for our ecosystems to replenish themselves. The problem is they are not able to replenish themselves quickly enough to keep up with our destruction. We are destroying at a faster rate than they can replenish. And these lockdowns are buying time for them to catch up a little bit. For example, five minutes you can cut a tree down, but it takes more than five minutes to regrow a tree. A forest can be cut in a very short time. A forest cannot be grown overnight. It takes years and years. So the problem is we are destroying at a much faster rate than our ecosystems can recuperate. Those are the three things we have working in our favour. And they should be enough. Rockefeller, David Rockefeller, 
Speaking on the 14th of September 1994 to United Nations Conference, said, we are on the verge of a global transformation. All we need is the right major crisis and the nations will accept the new world order. The right major crisis? Is this it? Are we in it now? But it's not the pandemic that's the major crisis. Oh no, that's not, it's not the pandemic. The major crisis is the destruction we are doing to our biodiversity and our ecosystems. The very systems that support and protect us from such things as pandemics. So we have a lot to think about. And until we meet again, namaste.